What's going on, everybody? It's you know who, DGen Rips here on the weekend, ripping some, I believe, brand new Yu Gi Oh! Legendary Duelists Season 3. So I'm ripping this because growing up, I was a big Yu Gi Oh! fan. I had all of probably the first edition cards. Zodia, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician. And then my mom threw everything out when she thought, oh, you're too old for this stuff. Oh, wow, only two packs in here. So we get a Jiltia the D Knight Soul Spear. That's not good. They couldn't fit everything in. They had to abbreviate it. And we get a cool little dice. Two packs. So yeah, this is essentially me chasing lost youth and uh, trying to reclaim some nice Yu-Gi-Oh cards that my mom threw out. I want to get some nice cards. Magician of Dark Illusion. I don't know why these cards feel smaller. I don't know if they've always been this small, but these cards feel really small. I do not know if all Yu-Gi-Oh cards have been this. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. I don't even know if this is a, this is like a good card, like worth something, but this is a really cool card. Wow. See, this is a, a sleeve just for normal cards, but it looks massive with this, but this is a really cool looking card. Number C40 gimmick, Puppet of Dark Strings. Never seen a Yu-Gi-Oh card that looks like this. Really nice. Really cool. Put that up on display. Let's keep it moving here. Supreme King's Castle offering to the immortals. We got Evil Hero Inferno Wing. We have another hollow. Not as cool as the other one with that all black. Evil Hero Inferno Wing. We'll say it feels like Yu-Gi-Oh has stepped it up. These are these are cooler than the card looking cards than the ones I remember. A Dark Magician Girl. Okay, this is a bit of a throwback. This is some nice nostalgia here. This is Dark Magician Girl, just as hot as I remember. Wow, Dark Magician Girl. Super hot. I love that card. I love that card. Uh way hotter than I remembered. Uh I was only like, probably like eight years old when I was collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so maybe I just wasn't attracted yet to uh, Dark Magician Girl, but now, wow, look at her. Look at that glowing skin. I need me a Dark Magician Girl. Let's keep it going. Pack number two of two. Earthbound Immortal... We got a quick draw sync run. It's pretty cool. Look at him. I don't really know what he is. Sending a monster from your hand. Wow, look at him. He's got a little toy gun. He only does 700 attack. He's got more defense, double as much defense as attack. But I mean, what's he defending himself with? He's just got he's just got a little crappy gun. Anyway, Illusion Magic, Gimmick Puppet Disaster Leo. Where do they come up with these names? They could have just stopped after Gimmick Puppet. We got Ascator Dawnwalker. Some kind of like Roman general type thing going on here with an ant. He, is, he like commands an ant to do attacks for him. All right, whatever you say, Yu-Gi-Oh. And we got a Satellite Warrior. Sort of looks like something out of Neon Genesis or Transformers. Satellite Warrior. See, they kept it kind of simple with that name, but they didn't have to give him the, uh, the 10 names like some of these other cards. So let's get into box number two. That was honestly fun. I really do enjoy ripping some Yu-Gi-Oh. It brings me back. It does. Wow, look, Dark Magician Girl is on the back here. So, yeah, at the end of this, I'll be looking up what these cards are worth. 
hoping that Dark Magician Girl is worth something because that's like an OG. I just, <laughs> just hit my uh, tripod here opening this. Is it the same card here? No, it's a different. Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier. Let's get into it. The Perform Puppet. Gaga Gaga Magician. It reminds me of Goonga. You got any of you guys watch El Presidor? That's what this guy reminds me of. Goonga Ginga. Chaos Command Magician. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That looks like the uh man, what's that one armor called in uh, Skyrim? Why does it escape me right now? I haven't played Skyrim in a while, but it looks like the one like the best armor you can get. I forget what it's called. But uh really cool. Necro Face, Spirit Message L, Evil Hero, Evil Hero Malicious Bane. I guess he's a part of the Evil Hero family. We got Evil Hero Inferno Wing up there. This one looks kind of cooler. It has more attack, so I might have to put the uh, Malicious Bane up there. Ooh, you got an another Evil Hero brother. Evil Hero Necrom. Gotta sleeve up these uh, hollows. Although, sure, most of them aren't worth anything. But, uh, so yeah, that we got one pack left. One pack left. I hope the Yu-Gi-Oh! people aren't uh, upset with me. But, um, another Ga-Ga-Ga-Ga-Ga magician. We got an Archfiend Empress. Wow, this is this is a really cool card. This one's this one might be my favorite actually. Look how cool that is. Look at that staff she's got. It's like it's like that little jewel on her uh, waistband is hollow. The jewels are hollow. The rest isn't. That's really nice. I'm like out of uh, uh, I'm out of sleeves over here. Didn't know I'd be sleeving all this stuff up. And I'm sure most of it's worth like two pennies, but. That is a cool card. Archfiend Empress. He is unseat she has unseated the evil hero Malicious Bane. Emergency call. Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. Now they're just getting lazy with the names. They're just calling everyone Evil Hero, and then they just make up. They just like feel like they just put like a bunch of like weird sounding or like cool sounding names like Prodigy, Inferno, Evil, Monstrous, like 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 cringy buzzwords that belong in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then they just like close their eyes and throw a dart at the board and just pick like two cool sounding names and just put it after Evil Hero. Wow, we got a Magician of Chaos. Okay, this one's my favorite for sure. This is a really cool... Wow, Yu-Gi-Oh! really stepping it up. I gotta say, Yu-Gi-Oh! really stepping it up. These are just so cool cards. I really like this set. Really do like this set. I mean, for me, with this stuff, I just like the aesthetics. Like, with MetaZoo, I just sort of collect MetaZoo because I like how it looks. I don't really play the game itself. But that is a cool card. They really stepped it up. I give Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot of credit. We got a couple cards left. Generation Next. Zoma the Spirit, Gimmick Puppet, and Secrets of Dark Magic. The Secrets of Dark Magic. So these are the best hits, I believe, we got. These ones, the Archfiend Empress, some really cool cards from these blasters. I gotta say, I don't open many Yu-Gi-Oh sets, but I like this one. So thank you all so much for watching here. DGen Rips. Let's go on eBay and look some of these cards up. Peace out, everybody. DGen Rips with his fingertips. He'll go broke by the end of this.